Hey, welcome to this week's adventures with Peps. We're doing something a little bit different. Firstly, you can see my face. Ottawa is boiling hot again. We're having a weird heat wave in the first week of October. Um, but I'm excited to announce we're doing an unboxing. I recently became part of the affiliate program for WePrintMiniatures.com. Full disclosure, in the comment thing below, you'll see a link and the discount code that you can use. Discount code is obviously Adventures with Peps. You will get a discount. I will get a kickback. So it's all great. Feel free to take a look. If you don't, great as well. I'm going to quickly go over why I wanted to affiliate with this company. And then we will go into the unboxing. Right, as you can see, I just opened up one of the main screens. I am on their website, but they print this company. I think it's pronounced Papsikels Miniatures. They're great, the Judge Dread stuff. Um, I've been looking at their stuff for a while and I finally had a decent reason to order some. But yeah, look, they do arcade machines, data terminals, control room miniatures. These are all super cool. Then you got like some Joe Pineapples, basically. So ABC Warriors, the Colonial Marines, which if you know me by now, I love my Alien franchise. There's this weird, crazy skeleton punk, little robot droids, a little doggy, a couple of fatties that look amazing, a Ripley, some computer hacker, weird cyborg monster. And this is just one page of many. I do mean many. Look, I'm on page five of 19. And that's just the sci-fi range. They have a fantasy range. There's also seconds that you can buy for cheap if you don't want to pay full price. I ordered what, a week ago and it came pretty quick. Came to well, it came today. So it took a week. And I'm in Canada and they're located in the UK. But look, there's this crazy looking scarecrow wasteland necromunda-esque figure. Looks very cool. This is hopefully in the box that we're going to open up. Yes, it is the Dark Judges. They look pretty cool. I'm interested to see what the quality of the print is. I'm not going to lie, if you don't like them when we open the box, or if I don't like them, the affiliate code will only be on this video. I will not have it on anything else. They got these cool judges as well. Obviously, the Colonial Marines. This super interests me. I love my alien stuff. The prices are pretty fucking sweet. Like $10. It's what, probably five pounds in the UK. If the print job is anything close to this, I'll be pretty happy. Wolf Sternhammer. If you missed out on the Strontium Dogs. Johnny Alpha. He looks so cool. Might have to get that one next. McN McNulty. Obviously, they call him Mr. Mac Crunchy. But it's so cool. Look at it. I love it. Barry Mc... <laughs> Barry McGuffin. Pretty sure I have some of them in this box. And then the fatties. They just look great. Ripley and Newt. And then this crazy guy. He looks like he's from Borderlands or something. The possibilities with this company are endless. They have so much cool stuff. So I hope what's in the box is good. I'm talking about that, let's move over to the other camera. I really hope we get some good prints in here. Let me move the light over. I really want this to be good because if it is, I'll be ordering more. And hopefully, you guys will want to check them out and order as well. And if you guys order, I get my little kickback. And that kickback will let me buy more models. So everybody wins that way. Right, Trojan packaging. It's a very empty box. <laughs> you know what? Probably a third of the box they could have shipped in a smaller box. Let's be honest. Right, we have some bases and a package. Let's get everything out and then we'll go from there. Right, we got, got a lot of bases now. As I did mention, I bought the Dark Judges. And then I, I think I bought some uh, random mix packs. We know four of these bases are Dark Judges. And then we have... 
Got another... Oh, geez, stuck to the bubble wrap. Got another seven bases. So did I order... What did I order? I love it when you forget what you've ordered. So let's start with this first package. I want to try and be as gentle as possible because I don't know what I got. That's package one. We'll just put that there. I want to get rid of all this crinkly, crinkly bubble wrap. Let me make sure my microphone is on. That'd be hilarious if I'm just talking away and there's nothing being recorded. Package two. This one's going to be the Dark Judges. I can tell you that already. We'll save this one for last. Yeah, ultimately, if I like these models, hopefully I will. We are going to have some painting videos in the upcoming weeks, and I'll, every time I order, we'll be going for it. Because I obviously want to work these into my Sector 102 project. So it looks like I got two mystery boxes of three, and then I got my Dark Judges for four. So that's one extra base bonus. So first baggie. So many baggies. Maybe we'll zoom in. Oh, it's the uh, slight bend on the blade, but nothing that can't be fixed. It's a Xenomorph uh, Warrior. Get what they call it now. Let's quickly give it a Google. I saw him when we were looking earlier. Of course, as soon as I want to find it, there he is. A Xeno Sith. Oh, so that's a lightsaber. It needs to be strained out. So it should look like that. But that's nothing. A bit of hot water won't fix. He looks pretty cool. He's got these weird tendrils on the back. A little bit of cleanup on the skirt. But nothing too bad. I'm actually pretty impressed. So let's just uh, click on the character card here. So this would be a $12 model. Print is pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Like it's hard to show on my camera. But it has all these gills. Details there. I think if I give this a nice base coat and highlight it up, it would probably show the colors. Show the detail a lot better. That's number one. And it stands perfectly on the base. You can just about see it. It just stood up perfectly. Model number two. Oh, this is... Looks like he should be on a vehicle, maybe. He's a vehicle rider. This is... I bought mystery packs. So you get a random figure. But based on his weapon, he looks like a colonial marine of some sort. It looks like a pulse rifle. A little bit of work on his under chin there. Oh, he's been injured, I see. He's lost a foot. <laughs> so he's prey. He'd look great on like a crate. Maybe he's actually crawling. Oh, there you go. He's not sitting. He's crawling because he's injured. I'll make a nice little city dev model. Use it in aliens. I got the alien board game, so that's a great little extra piece. Very much happy with that one. Then the third and final one out of this first set of three. It's a female character. I would probably use her as a civilian in Judge Dredd, or maybe I'm trying to think she could be not Black Widow, but maybe somebody like that, Ghost in the Shell or something. Classic like lady in I was saying she was in a jumpsuit, but now I'm looking at her more. See if I can get the lock on. Is she in a bodysuit or a corset? Looks like a corset. She could be like a like a pinup model or something like that. Probably paint her as a bodysuit because I don't have any need for pinups. She probably make a good uh, citizen model. Let's just compare scales here. In heels, she's a bit taller than this guy, which is an old mongoose Judge Dredd. 
Um, do I have a current Judge Dredd figure? I have Nero Narcos, which isn't the best example because he is cool. But that works. Yeah, that will work. Like I said, I bought mystery packs, so I'm not entirely sure what the scale is. She won't stand at this time. I was hoping to get like between 28 and 32 mils. So I'm pretty happy so far. Now we're on to the second pack, which was a confirmed Arnie model, which is why I picked it. And then the rest were random. So first, a little clean up on this one, but nothing too crazy. Look at him. This is a great model. I saw this on the website. Needs a bit of a clean up on the back here. Nothing too bad though. This is probably why it's a second. But look at that. He is selling illegal goods. He is going to be a great character. Stick him in my blood pack gang. Or even as just a general citizen model. Very nice model. The material. Hang on. Maybe you heard it. Maybe you didn't. It's pretty solid. A nice material. I was worried about like print lines or something that I've seen on a few other casts in the past. This is very smooth, very clean. I'm very impressed so far. And he stands perfectly. We then have Terminator Arnie. Look at that. His face is slightly melted off. Got his big old pistol. Look at the detail on the hat. Like, it's hard to not see my hand, but. Got this little robot hand, and there's the perfect circle going through it. He looks great. Maybe uh, use him as a vigilante or superhero in my Judge Dread games. Oh, thought he's going to stand perfectly. No, oh, he does. Look at that. So far, I'm rather impressed. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you are. We're going to have a few painting videos, I think, coming up. And then here is Predator Arnie. He's got his M16. This was the model I definitely wanted and the whole reason I bought that set. So cool. He's got his little pistol, boot knife. Love it. He's going to be so much fun to paint. He's definitely going in the city dev. But... I can't work out what the scale is on these. I keep losing the camera. <laughs> there you go. He's a bit taller than a normal citizen. What else have I got? Got a Judge Anderson here. There we go. The scale's not perfect. But it's close enough. I'm happy with that. It's not anything that I'm going to cry about. They obviously are not going on these rimmed bases. I'm going to put them on flat bases. Like my Warlord games. Here we go, here's the main show. Oh, hang on. I found out why I have an extra uh, extra base. There's an extra figure here. What's this? Oh my days, it's tiny. We got a little... dog that's in a cat suit, I guess, of some sort. It's got goggles on there. Got his little pouches. This is very hard to see him. But how cool is he? Absolutely tiny. Not entirely sure how or where I'd use him. But now for the main show. The Dark Judges. So, let's see who we got. Let's start with this one. Kick things off with Judge Mortis. Oh, okay. I love it. The camera isn't doing it a hundred percent justice. There is a lot of detail in such a small model. The teeth look great. It's got this very tiny tail. It's quite rigid and strong. It's got it flexes, but nothing crazy. Fingers are all in very good condition. I was a little bit worried when I saw it was just a half empty box. <laughs> I was like, how much has this smashed up? And it stands. That's the impressive part. Now these are creepy looking because they're actually very slender. I think these will scale well with Judge Death, my painted one. 
There's a judge death in this set, so he's probably gonna stay put. Got a slight bend on this spear. It's a spear and not a trident, but I'm sure that's something we can fix. Even me just holding it for a few seconds is fixing some of it. Like I said, some hot water. We can clean this up. Do we then have Judge Fire? Oh, very impressive. I just recently painted the old mongoose one for the cosplayers. These are very tall though. Let's so try and get a side by side. They're about a head taller. Which I think is fine because these are meant to be like super villain, super fiends from another dimension. He's not going to stand because he's a bit warped. And then we got, oh, Judge Fear is up next. He has a sword. Very interesting. Not sure why he'd have a sword. A little bit of flash on the side of his helmet. Nothing too bad. I love the pose. He's going, shh. He's got all the grills in. He's got his bat wings. Okay, this I am very happy. Judge Fear is one of my favorite favorite characters and this looks great personally i'm gonna probably chop off the sword see if i can get rid of the handle not interested in him having a sword but very impressed he stands wonderfully and then finally we have judge death if i can get him out the packaging <laughs> he looks like a Batman villain. I can't think of the one right at this point. I'm sure, you've all seen him though. He is so slender. I am actually very impressed. Obviously, a little less detailed than Warlord Games ones, but I have no issue with the quality on these. I'm going to be very intrigued to see how these paint up. So that's the whole set. What I'll do is I will drop, hang on, let me swap back to a different camera. All right, hopefully this is working. Let's see where I am. It did not work because my camera's turned up. Right. Well, I'm very happy with the <laughs> getting the camera. Well, I'm very happy with the results of this. Uh, I'm going to drop you all the links to the different packages I bought. Maybe browse around, see if you enjoy it. If you see anything you like, please use my code. It really would help me out. It lets me buy more figures to paint for the channel. And I'll catch you next week. As always, cheers for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which I should paint first. And I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.